this episode of Chuffed Adventures, I get sailing with Captain Maria on board SV Joanna and we explore islands with the rest of the Gypsy fleet. Alright, I've crossed the border, about to get on this nice big bus and head to Punta Chame where I'm meeting Nika and Maria to go sailing. All right, let's go. All right, Dodge really walking along the beach. <laughs> I think that light out there is Maria's dad. And I'm gonna go get him and head to Joanna, hopefully. Alright, good morning. I am on board Joanna. So I'm going to show you guys around a little bit and um, we're hoping to set off later today depending on how quickly the girls can get out of Panama City um, checking themselves and the boats out of the country. So we've got Panama City in the background and you can see that we've got Carl and two other boats that are joining us anchored in front and we're anchored here at Punta Chame which is a really pretty little port town. I'll come over here so you can see a little better. It's a nice beach and we're just starting to get a little rain now but all in all it's a beautiful morning and this is the lovely Joanna. So she's 73 foot in steel which you guys may already know. dinghy, seating area, and the back of her, go this way now, you can have a look from this direction, <laughs> but she's a super, super beautiful boat, and I'll take his downstairs as well. Alright, so we come from the cockpit. Doing a tour of Joanna. <laughs> the kitchen. And that's my room. Okay, we are underway. Um, Nika and Carl and uh, Mike on another boat are going in slightly uh, more direct route because. They have a much shallower draft than Joanna, so we're taking a slightly longer, wider route. And we're... Hello, good. <laughs> we're trying to head to some islands around here. There's an island called John Wayne Island we're going to. It's only about five nautical miles from where we've been anchored, so it's a quick journey. around this island or this way? Yeah, you go like this. There's a big sand bank just here. Ah, okay. Yeah. And so what, what's the story with the island you're saying, Maria? It's, it's like... Uh, it, John when you used to own the whole thing. Okay. And then you see where this red roof starts? Ah, yes, Someone yeah. started like an old, a resort and then left it. And then now it's all falling apart, but all the artifacts still sit there, you know. Oh, like cool. Old, there's an old the horse wagon. And oh, that's very cool. Yeah. As we pulled into the anchorage, Maria gave us all a lesson on anchoring big old Joanna. And then see if we move. Yeah. And we come and we sit. And then, and then do we do the snubber. Put you after that. Alrighty, we are anchored. Well, Mike's still anchoring. And we've got Nika and Carl and Simon here. And it's a really cool anchorage. So I will show you guys the panorama. Right, so we've got mainland Panama on this side. And then in front of us here, we've 
we've got a few cute little islands and then to this side is the John Wayne Island. All right, we are about to head over to Carl for some sushi. Uh, Nika and Simon are preparing. It's a beautiful full moon. Maria's gone to get margarita mix, which is very important, and um, yeah, should be fun. You already got the margarita mix? That was quick. Hi, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was doing something on yeah filming today and then your dad came past and was talking to someone <laughs> filming so we both did a little like oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh that is a perfect roll look at that beautiful Amazing. and that yeah that's, and a that's nice not even perfect to her she doesn't like that no, one. She's, like, <laughs> she's not happy <laughs> I was telling you I already <laughs> <laughs> After a few capfuls of rum, we're off to bed to prepare for the jump to the Las Perlas Islands the next day. Alright, 6am, you can hear Maria's lifting the anchor. Just gonna get ourselves a little bit to eat and um, we're heading off. Once we were over the shallows, it was time to raise sail. Joanna's sails are all raised manually, and with a 60-foot mast, it takes a bit of strength. But Maria is a wonderful instructor, very calm and to the point. All right, now you go over to where Mom is. And the Perlis are around 45 nautical miles, yeah, roughly. Uh, exactly. About the entrance of the Perlis is 34 right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little closer then. Yeah, so we should be 34, there 35. We're slowing down, but yeah. 54, 54, 42, 43. Uh huh. We'll do around 430. Okay, cool. Cool. That's not so bad. Yeah. Harold, would you be happy to introduce yourself? I did what? Introduce yourself on camera. Oh, I'm on, am I? You are on. Oh. <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> they usually call me, hey, you. Well, I'm going to dinner. Other than that, yeah, yeah, they like to call me Harold. <laughs> Sometimes it's Father Digby. Other times it's, uh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll answer to all of them according to the day. And today it's, how are ya? <laughs> I think everybody pretty much knows Maria for the most part. <laughs> Maria! <laughs> it's each uh, vlogger that comes on board. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hi, Maria. And uh, you guys are on Joanna. I just didn't figure that out. <laughs> and we are sailing. And off to the Perlis. We're hoping for a little bit more wind, but... Be, uh, I'm Nancy, Madre of Maria the Captain, and I'm sort of part of the swaggering, staggering <laughs> crew this morning. Buenos dias, welcome and, aboard. And you guys also live on a boat, right? Well, well no, we have an apartment <laughs> now, but we do also have a boat in Isla Maharas. And uh, Maria was born on a boat, and we've ha lived on boats for many years. 
not always sell them. But we'll <laughs> so she's the perfect teacher. <laughs> We took two hour shifts on the helm with Nancy taking first watch. It allowed me to get some sneaky instructions before my turn. It took me a little getting used to using the wheel instead of the tiller, but Maria had some really good tips on feeling the sails in the water. Oh, you've got me. <laughs> That's nice. Look at the swim with the dolphins. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Nico, you with the dolphins? That's so nice. Oh, he's fast. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Have you heard that there's a veterinarian on board? Yeah. Who, uh, who do you know? So are you telling me somebody? Is this another Nico? Huh. He's staying around. He Chill said, out, I really want to poop on your uh, solar panels. Can you, it, can you keep it to yourself, please? Yeah. Our little bird friend seems to be hanging with Nika and Carl now. Simon. There was a mutiny and he left. And maybe he'll come back. Such a good fisherwoman. Oh, he's beautiful. Land ahoy. We are almost at Viveros. That is Bayonetta off to the port side and just behind those Viveros where we'll be anchoring up with Barry, Mike, Nika and Maria as our four captains. Extremely beautiful anchorage. We've got Nika and Carl coming in behind us. Get clean now. <laughs> For the mock down current. Come on. <laughs> Kicks in. <laughs> it just yeah. might be me that mines. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mom, you're good. There's not much current. Oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, I forgot I got the missing up. <laughs> it's like a little cocktail. I forgot to let the machine. That's why it wasn't turning so well. <laughs> 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 it's just too long with the wheel. <laughs> Alright, we are anchored up um, successfully. Went for a dip and enjoyed a nice anchor beer. We've got the sun setting right in front of us. But let me show you guys around, introduce everybody. Putting the very back sail down because we kind of forgot to do that before we anchored. And then this way, whoop, wrong way. Where is he? Oh, there he is. We've got Carl and Simon and Nika. And then we're getting like a super beautiful, we're not sure who that is, but then 
we're anchored up in front of these really beautiful little islands and um, at low tide it reveals a beach Maria said and it's really really beautiful so we're gonna go explore there tomorrow and then behind us if we go this way all right anchored up behind us there I can't tell whose boats who but we got Barry on white shadow and Mike on easy just over here we enjoyed a delicious shared mahi meal with a beautiful sunset before waking early the next day to do some exploring. I set off first thing to do some droning before the wind picked up. <laughs> Here you go, Nutella. I think Nika and the crew are getting ready. I think Mike might be coming. Uninhabited islands. I didn't get, bring my gimbal to shore because I had a bunch of camera gear. So apologies, it's not as smooth as it has been. But I'm gonna see what's down this little path. I already launched my drone and Nick is about to do the same. So that's why I'm doing a little bit of solo exploring while the girls do that. And then I think they're gonna try spearfish I might go for a snorkel since I'm not real good at killing things and go from there. So at first it kind of seems like there's not very many animals on this island because you're not seeing them so much but if you listen there's a lot of little birds around and some big flying birds. And then if you listen even more carefully, you can hear all the um, little crabbies at my feet. And using another sense, I can smell bats. Can't see them, but I can smell them. So we'll see what wildlife we can find. There's a little bird right there checking me out. Hey little guy, where are you going? Aren't you cute? There's a bunch more little birds up here too. So this for me summarizes boat life more than being on the boat. As you guys probably know I'm not huge sailor myself and I'm still pretty new to it but the ability to like move your home to places like this and to be able to explore in nature with nobody around and see the wildlife climb trees jump on rocks that's really I think what it's all about
my uninhabited beach. He's now inhabited, but it looks like he's got something. What do you got, coconuts? Yo también! <laughs> I got a green one though. Did you go right the way around the island? Nice. Oh yeah, there's spear fishing. Hello. There's like no visibility. <laughs> Is it any better near the rocks or the same? We're heading back to the island to do a beach cleanup and for a fire dinner. Fearless leader, making fire. Oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the lighter. <laughs> Make it like a tribe woman. <gasps> You're on camera again. <laughs> Mike's got our fourth. I There's a, a spot toy. for you. I even found her a shoe. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice one. Here. one here. Yeah, this, this, yeah. yeah, this one. Yeah, that's She's nice. like mine better. We all thought go in this gap here, then we can do a photo. Oh, yeah. hey, oh. my nipple. <laughs> Chaka! Look at this. We collected a ton of trash for In Motion. It's a little, it's not really an organization yet, but it's kind of like a project that we're working on to fight against plastic pollution of our oceans. So we try to do beach cleanups whenever we can and, you know, just raise awareness for the problem of plastic pollution of the ocean. And uh, it's part of it. Join yeah. us. It sounds like you guys have big plans yeah. for in motion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Fire. Smart to walk through it, right? Moments like these sharing food, stories and music on a deserted island around a crackling fire are the true reason we love this life. We are gypsies and we wouldn't have it any other way. Next episode, we island hop the Lost Perlas with Joanna, White Shadow, Easy, and Carl. And we have an interview with an old sea dog. Until then, stay chuffed, everybody.